Our beloved 8% Hard AF Seltzer is now live in over 1,200 locations across the United States. We're now available in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, Ohio, and Texas. Go to hardafseltzer.com today, click on the store locator, enter your city or zip, and find the nearest location closest to you. Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yeah, welcome to the Monday Morning Recap, everybody. Brought to you by MyBookie.com. Promo code Drinking Bros doubles that first deposit all the way up to $1,000. We were live last week from the Masters in Augusta, and, well, everybody called it. Scotty Scheffler uh, dominated. Yeah. Absolutely fucking dominated. What do you do? What do you do for uh, for Scotty Scheffler these days? You appreciate dominance. I do. You appreciate a man who has the second best season since Tiger Woods in, I think, 06 or something. He just passed VJ's season. So, yeah, Scotty uh, is going to dominate. Maybe potential Grand Slam this year? Could be. Uh, what happens if he gets the fifth one? Because he got the PGA, right? He's only won the Masters. No, I know, but he got the PGA, which players. is often often known as the the fifth, you know, major. That's, no, the PGA here. is a major. The players. The, he won the players' championship. He won the players, yeah, right? He's the fifth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, their fifth, right? right. Which is what we all call yeah. it. But I don't even think anybody's on that. The PGA is in a month at Valhalla. It is, but has anybody won the the five? A calendar slam? No. 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 He would be the first to do it. We we got the Tiger Slam that one time, but right, it but wasn't Tiger the same year. Did it three and then one. Correct. Roll over. Yeah, in the following year, but nobody's done it in the same year. Um, he certainly can. Uh, what did you think of the Masters? It's beautiful. It's amazing, it's a isn't it? Perfect place. Yeah. Yeah. Do you eat pimento cheese? No, fuck that. What? Um, I don't. Well, first off, I don't like cheese. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, I, I eat pizza, but I don't really like cheese on anything else. Crones. Crones. Yeah, can't um, do it. And then I also, you know, I, I was just busy eating peach ice cream sandwiches and. Barbecue chicken sandwich, or yeah, I guess yeah. barbecue sandwiches. Barbecue I, what, sandwiches. You're like a barbecue biscuits. snob, and you're eating like golf golf cart girl fucking barbecue. You've sandwiches. never been to the Masters, so you wouldn't understand. Yeah, it's it's one of those things we have to be there to. The pimento cheese is the thing. It's that, the thing. That and the egg sandwiches. So yeah, I, but you're I, just you just have never been, so you wouldn't get it. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I get down is on the egg sandwiches. Uh, the dollar egg f- salad. Oh, oh yeah. A huge fan. Mm. I had probably I don't five like egg day. salad or cheese. So oh, I just went. I loved it. It's kind of like a new North Carolina barbecue sandwich, just pulled pork. Yeah, normal. That's all, right. all it is. Normal. Uh, beers are only three dollars. There, sandwiches are a dollar fifty. No, the fucking beers were like five or six bucks. They upcharged it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Still coming out about ten dollars a head on no, a no. stadium beer. Oh, it wasn't bad. Easily. Yeah. yeah. That's great. I actually didn't spend as much money as I thought I was. I would at the uh, pro shop. So. Even the prices of the pro yeah. shop came down. Reasonable. I remember buying the last time I bought because everybody buys a chair when you walk in. Uh, so like five years ago, I paid forty five bucks for that chair. This year, I paid thirty five dollars for the chair. Oh, nice. thanks Biden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Bidenomics, <laughs> man. Um, but yeah, all the prices had come down, and it was it was nice. It was refreshing to see. Um, I was at a party yesterday in the neighborhood for the Masters, and a friend of mine, diehard Masters guy, had kind of given me some info on it. I was unaware that they don't charge past like 80, whatever the, the minimum amount is for the production budget. They don't charge advertisers more than that. So that's why there's never very many commercials. There is no logos on the screen at all. And then there's none in real life when you're there. Right. There's not like an AT&T symbol jutting out of a pond. Nothing. No, yeah. they typically, Nothing. I would imagine they keep the same sponsors, but they charge a pretty penny for that they do um so i think it's 76 million total but that's what they they use uh to put on the event and then the licensing fees afterwards are, are what mm-hmm. is expensive but apparently they don't want a lot of commercials during the masters no they don't want any logos uh being seen on screen for anybody else also the announcers are not allowed to read out anyone's logos on their hats shirts for any of the golfers or yeah. any of that stuff it's night and day if you watch a normal pga tour event every week it's a commercial every fucking three minutes. It's, yeah. It drives you insane. It's yeah. like worse than NASCAR. Oh, it's, like it's terrible. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. It's nuts. I, I don't know how... I mean, I watch golf every week, and there's a reason why I'm as miserable as I am. It's probably because of that. 
And uh, you watch the, the Masters, and you're like, oh, wow, this is what golf can be. This would make people golf fans. Yeah, yeah 100%. But PJ Tour just doesn't realize that, and they just run as many commercials as they can. Yeah, it was uh, it was a blast, but Scotty dominated the field. And uh, well, up until a certain point, right? Like we were at eight or nine, and you had Ludwig, you had Max, mm -hmm. you had Colin. They were all tied with Scheffler, and then they all pooped down their pants. And Scotty, when he makes mistakes, he makes the right mistake. He like on eleven, he misses the green, but he misses it in the right spot. Ludwig puts it in the water. Yep. It's just even when he doesn't play well or even when he makes mistakes he never makes costly mistakes no and the the other interesting part about it was uh for me and i don't know if you you guys felt this watching it on sunday it 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 just didn't seem like anybody was really threatening scotty i was like he's gonna pull away with us at some point um even the live lines when it was tied he was still like minus 400 and everybody <laughs> else was getting like plus 275 it's yeah. just uh it, it was strange to see because um even though in my opinion, and, I, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts uh, being there, he didn't play that great, and he didn't look that great in person, but it was tough. still just better than everybody else. Conditions were tough. They I were. mean, he was playing fast and firm. It's probably the most firm Augusta's played in a long time. You had the wind when we were there. Yep. That was just blowing people out to sea. Mm -hmm. That was great. I don't know, man. Scotty. Fun for spectators, can... not fun for the golfers. No, it, it's fun. I enjoyed a nice breeze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely fun. I love seeing guys that are professional golfers struggle mm -hmm. just because, like, it's very relatable. Um, but, yeah, Scotty, he can play in tough conditions. He can play in soft conditions. It doesn't matter. He's the best fucking golfer on the planet. He's the best iron player on the planet. He's the best short game on the planet. It's, it's just incredible to see. He is the best golfer since Tiger Woods in his peak. Yeah. And I think it's because his caddy is a Christian. It's true. Oh, he's a Christian. Ted Scott. I Ted know. Scott's now got four green jackets. Yeah, because sure he wants two with Bubba. But yeah. he he took he picked up Ted Scott because he was like, I just I need a caddy who's a Christian. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Yeah. yeah, and Scotty's pretty lame off the course, but if he continues to dominate, then it won't he matter. Become, he becomes more interesting. Oh, dude, I agree. He's absolutely pure toast. Yeah, off the like he is a piece of weight, no, but it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. if you continue to win and you dominate like this. It's then you become more interesting just out of maybe he's default. almost got like Mike Trout vibes. Where well, I, I've got the <laughs> same feeling about like Pat Mahomes, for example. Like I love watching Patrick Mahomes play. Yeah, and he's dominant, but off the off the field, there's I'm not a big Pat Mahomes fan. There's nothing to him, right? He's same just with there. Scott, he's same with Scotty Scheffler. Yeah, but when you're that good, you're right. I think the tide turns, and then you start to root for this dominance because we haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. Um, speaking of Tiger, what uh, what do you think of Tiger, and will he ever compete in in any one of these things again? I mean, I feel like he's got to be beat down at this point. Uh, I loved watching him on Friday. Followed him, Max, and Jason Day. Yep. Uh, for like the first 13 holes, it was, I mean, bliss. It was perfect. Tiger was playing well. He made the cut. Mm -hmm. I feel like he expended all of his energy those two days just to make the cut. And then, yeah, man, he just, he doesn't got it for four rounds. Sunday, he was pouring sweat all day. I don't know if you saw it, but like he looked either sick, like maybe he had a, like a stomach bug or something those like that. Those hills are tough. Um, I mean, I, Holloway I was getting stomach cramps from the hills. I know. Uh, but being there, like like you, you've been there now. Yeah. If you don't have a leg injury, you're tired at the end of mm -hmm. the fucking day walking those goddamn hills. My, my calves were sore the next day. I know. Yeah. Imagine Tiger Woods. Like that's nuts to me yeah. how he's even able to do that. That course is is very very hilly. The other thing to me, and this is what I love about seeing this um, all of these events in person, is uh, you can really get a feel for it. In my opinion, watching all of those guys. Um, roll through because we got to see almost a round and a half of golf total the live guys to me i think it really hurts them that they're not playing enough competitive golf and that people There's don't not, really care they're not getting reps in right like everything right. they play is an exhibition so i'm sure Rom was pissed off this week brooks wasn't really in the picture hat made a run late um cam smith made a run late. cam smith was at least in the picture yeah. bryson in the picture a bryson little bit. was always yeah. in the picture but then you know we kind of fell apart yeah. on saturday sunday here's what it is here's my question about scheffler and i do say this as uh racistly as possible because they're like the same person to me from a background perspective are we sure he's just not the next like jordan spieth 
where he's just like this quick window of dominance and then he oh no because um Spice like highs and lows yeah all over the place scotty's been doing this for three years consistently the numbers like the data at least shows it's been the same for three for three and years. and he's just like not He's finally winning now. I was saying, he's just like though, not even delivered. Though he, even though he couldn't putt, he was still making top tens every week. Where yeah. you were just like, and all he, right. He figured out the putt in. And yeah, ball striking wise, if you look at the numbers, it's just been the same. Yeah. He's yeah. just, he wins now. That's <laughs> because, the only he, difference. because he can putt. Yeah. Um, but where you see like a Jordan or even Rom, they'll get hot for three months and it's just like, it goes all the way up and then it just falls off a cliff. And Scotty doesn't do that. It's yeah. just a plateau. I just feel the like there's been thing. a couple like, holy shit, this guy's the yeah. best in the world now since like Tiger, Brooks, but it never. Brooks did it when he he won four majors really quick. Yeah, but no, I mean Scotty's just been the most consistent. All right, and I think this separation because you do have you know twenty or so of the best golfers in the world on live. This separation now where they can't play these competitive tournaments on the PGA, they're playing these fifty four hole events. You're not, you, Delco's right. You're not getting the reps for this shit. So, like, I don't know how, uh, you know, some of the best golfers in the world that are in live, yeah, just magically show up at the majors. You know, Brooks was able to do it last year, but uh, how you're going to beat Scotty now at this high a level, like, it, it's too much, and they're just simply not getting the reps in. This was expected. I'm not even going to take credit for picking Scotty for the fucking Masters, but I think the true story that came out of this was uh, Ludwig is here. Ludwig arrived. Yeah, and he's fun. Yeah, he's got a personality. He's fun to watch. When that guy knocked that energy bar out of his hand, and he's making faces. He's just like, kind of like, bro, ah, man, come on, bro, come on. I love Vic's great. He was a blast to watch. Um, I was I was rooting for him to win. I popped in a live line at the end there and lost it on my bookie on Ludwig. But uh, I can't wait till till he's you know takes over. He's fun. That kid from Ohio State's fun. <laughs> that, play. that chubby he fucking was... Spalding kid where you're just like, all right. He was so like freaked out for some reason. Uh, I remember Tiger, I guess, like handed him a piece of paper with a note on it. And they asked him about it. And he's like, oh, that didn't happen. What? <laughs> like, I don't know if it was a lost bet or a one bet or maybe Tiger's phone number. But he was just like, uh, no, that didn't happen. Well, Tiger gave – who did he give a tampon to? And then they, Justin they, Thomas, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he does weird shit like that, and he's fun. And then the entire time uh, in Butler Cabin, Shipley was just kind of like, like oh, sketched did, out. Did you see him looking at the monitor? <laughs> it was like he, like the edible just hit. I know. He was <laughs> like, just like, uh, where am I looking? Who am I looking at? And the other thing, too, imagine being a college kid, and then you get paired up with Tiger yeah. on Sunday. That's fucking – Boosh. Even crazier, imagine being his buddy who caddied for him. Who and is, you're just shaking hands with Tiger on the 18th green. And by the way, in real life, he was not a caddy. Yeah, he was a child. He was just a dude. He yeah. just a 20-year-old kid. Just a fucking dude. That's insane. Uh, there was one that. caddy there that, uh, was it Cam Smith's? Um, who finished third? Uh, Morikawa and uh, or Homa. But Homa's uh, caddy... Is Joe? He's pretty notorious. He's pretty pretty chill. Pretty he cool. is. There was a guy who finished third here. That's... Tommy's caddy. Tommy. Yes, Tommy Fleetwood. That's it. Tommy had a uh, local caddy though, because his caddy I think is currently he has health issues, so he had to like pick up somebody from Augusta. Right. And so the guy uh, ended up getting because you get eight percent is yeah. what the deal is. The guy won eighty six thousand dollars. Who was just a local at the Augusta Club and nice little day. It was pretty fucking, fucking cool. Soon. Yeah. It was pretty fucking cool to see. Wait, was uh, he a Augusta member? No, no he's, he's a oh, caddy there. Okay. An Augusta okay. caddy. Yeah. Good. So good, good, um, good. if you do play Augusta, you usually have a local guy that kind of gives you, tells you all about the greens and okay. uh -huh. where to putt it. Usually, Augusta's greens are crazy. So like, if you're looking at the hole this way, they'll be like, no, you got to turn this way and putt this way. Trust yep. me. Just trust me, bro. <laughs> yeah, because he plays, you know, yeah. well, he's out there every day with rich people. Right. Um, I actually saw a hypothetical. It's like, if you started every hole on the green but from the furthest point from the hole on the green could you win augusta and i don't think i could oh that would require me to at least yeah. three putt every hole i can't do that no first putt is probably going off the green and i have to chip and then it's a whole mess i agree I, it's it's virtually impossible over there uh the interesting part about this is uh right after this happened uh, ironically uh liv is talking about going to a 72 hole format here because of rom yeah. Rom uh, wants it. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense, man. Rom You're also, not getting enough reps. Rom also believed him going to live would bring everyone together much faster than it currently is 
going with the negotiation processes, and he is uh, regretting that. Yeah, so that, and that, that'll lead me to my final question about this. Um, watching Morikawa uh, at the house that I was at, I was like kids and everything on Sunday, um, people were speculating if he would leave because it's so much money for him around the world as a global guy. He's not global, though. He's from California. I, you can market it over there. Not really. You can put him on the fucking billboards, dude. He's a Berkeley guy. They He's... just did it to that girl from the Olympics, man. She got a shit ton of money. That is like Naomi Osaka's from the United States. Yeah, he's not Hideki. Makes... Yeah. Like Colin's, yeah. Colin's an American. He's right. not but it really... Doesn't, it's what you can market overseas. You can't market that, though. It, it's is just he a face. Japanese? Like, is he... He's Asian. Like I know, but if he's if he's like Chinese or something, I don't know if you can market it. But the Japanese will adopt like 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 Naomi Naomi Osaka is fucking not Japanese, right? Like she's not <laughs> not at like all. her mom is. She's half she is half Japanese, but like she grew up in fucking Florida, like that. And it but she decided to play with the Japanese. I don't next know year. what Morikawa is, but if I was to guess off the last name, probably Japanese. That sounds Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the last girl that did it for the Winter Olympics, um, everybody bitch because she ended up doing it for them. But they were like, look. Overseas, just because of what she looks like, even though she's a white girl from fucking San Francisco, essentially, they were able to market her and put her up on all the billboards, and they were really able to cash in on her. Um, I wonder, man, because I don't know when this is going to get resolved with these fucking people. So, like, why wouldn't you? Want more people just leave? Who cares, though? Right? Like, the majors are the only thing that matter at this point. You think so? Yeah. You don't, I mean, Rory, you don't care about the rest of it? I do. I gamble I on too. everything. Yeah, but um, when it comes to the players now, no. The players don't give a shit about the PGA Tour. The players don't care about live. That's why they took the money. That's why they just kind of, you know, wait to the... The only things that matter, especially in the sport, are just majors, right? Like, we don't care how many t regular tour events Tiger won. Is, he's got 15 majors. Who cares how many fucking PGA Tour events Jack won? He's got 18 majors. Yeah. That's, that's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Aline Gu was that girl's name, by the way. Um, God damn, she made a fuck ton of money over there uh, doing that shit. But um, yeah, it was a blast. I would go every single year if I could. It'd be amazing to be rich enough to so just get dropped off in a PJ and then go back and forth. It's an forward. abysmal town. It's just an awful trash bag Augusta, of a town. Augusta, yeah. 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 It's infamous for that. I mean, the Hooters was great, obviously. Yeah, one of, of the top hooters in the nation right there. One of the best. They actually flew in some of the uh, top waitresses they did. for the well, weekend. That's a true story. I, I mean, Our I waitress it. was from South Carolina, and um, <laughs> she's like, yeah, they flew me in. I, I have no doubt about that. <laughs> uh, but you'll be happy about this. So uh, Daly got rained out. Yes. Yeah. It was on you know Thursday, and he got stuck inside. Uh, the night before, we were supposed to do the Braves game. That got rained I, out as yeah. well. Rain for 10 minutes, Bob. And For the uh, Braves game? That's it. It did dump, though. It dumped for 10 minutes. That was yeah. it. I like what 10. Yeah. And then that. At 10 it. in the morning? No, 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 at night. No, no, okay, night. But, yeah, yeah. But still, 10 minutes. We had amazing fucking see. I still have not been to the goddamn new ballpark. Nothing. No one. So you didn't miss anything there. All right. Um, Thank God. Still have not seen Truist. Yeah. Didn't get to step one foot inside. I saw it. It looks like a, you know, pretty run-of-the-mill stadium. <laughs> kind of a... Uh, from the outside looking in, just kind of a uh, slap in the face to architecture in general. Oh my God. When <laughs> it was looked it, beautiful. When was the bank built? When was Citizen Bank Park built? Early 2000s. Like yeah, it's every same, ballpark. It's the same fucking thing. No, our ballpark's better. No, it's in a parking lot. Yeah. Um, all of our ballparks are in a, in the same vicinity. It's a, it's a venue. Solus. It's three yeah. parks, and then just you a, have uh, it's a mall. Yeah. Xfinity it's a Live. It's a mall at that point. No, it's, it's actually just convenience. It's actually really nice. You yeah, can, no you can walk from Phillies game to Eagles game or catch a Sixers game all in the same day and then go to Xfinity Live and get fucked up. Yeah, you could. It's what the battery's for. It's what the battery's for. We didn't get to go. Didn't get to step one foot inside that goddamn place. At least with the, because I went to the new Yankees stadium the first time I yeah. went there. Um, it had rained out, but they let us in. So we uh, got to at least uh, drink beers and, you know, try out everything while, for yeah. an hour. And same thing, rain for 10 minutes. If they, and they, if they don't know for sure, they'll let you hang out for a while. Because I've been to games where they're like, yeah, come on in. Hopefully we play. And you get drunk for like two hours on way too expensive booze. And then they're like, that's yeah, what I was yeah. hoping for. That's what I was at least for. that. Yeah, at least that. Yeah. Because we had club seats and all that bullshit. Ugh. Yeah. Miserable. Uh, WNBA draft is tonight. What are you guys come doing on. for it? What are you doing for it, dude? Well, nothing. 
Come nothing. Delco. Not a goddamn thing. Let's talk about the fucking weekend. Delco. This is the WNBA, man. God, the, the greatest knockout in the history of the sport happened yeah. this weekend, this Saturday, UFC 300. And we're talking about Kaylin fucking Clark. Yeah. No. She brought in more ratings than uh, than UFC 300. It doesn't matter. It was yeah. not it, not if you go off Dana <laughs> metrics, right? Like it's all about uh, social media interactions. Mm. And um, everyone saw the Max Holloway knockout. I probably saw that knockout up like a hundred times. On my yeah, that night. it was uh, fantastic. So we flew back on Saturday afternoon. Perfect timing. Yeah, uh, got to see the entire I card. One of the greatest of all time. Got to the studio and threw on my phone the uh, Figgy Smalls Cody Garbrandt fight, which opened up the card on the early prelims. Mm -hmm. Not a single bad fight. The greatest card the UFC's ever put together. Great production. Um, it's it's like if the UFC actually tries, they can put on some of the best events out there, and uh, it's why we get on them for putting on Apex cards all the time. It's like what, you, I, I just don't understand. After after watching a card like that, yes, you could do that every fucking weekend if you wanted not to. Not every weekend. They just don't. But um, there's no reason to have a UFC event every weekend. You kind of dilute the product. So, um, if, well, would you do it like boxing then? Because boxing, you know, those guys only fight two or three times a year. I just do two cards a, a month. Two cards a month is good. Okay. I think you can on that. 24 good events. I wouldn't mind that. Um, but the Holloway thing, we'll get into it now. He's up. He's up massively. He could have just ran around and called it. Instead, he said, look, fight me. Let's go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, middle of the ring, and then knocked him mm -hmm. the fuck out. He was up. He was going to win four to one on the cards. Correct. And he's like, nah. Meet me in the middle. Let's go. Let's. I, I'm going to give you your 10 seconds. You can knock me out if you want. I'm going to risk it all here. But, um, yeah, Max, that's a legendary moment. Knocks out Gaethje cold. I thought Gaethje was dead. So did like, I. I literally thought Gaethje died. Yeah, it was wild. He landed on his neck really, really awkwardly. And uh, I think it was poor sportsmanship. <laughs> I think it was poor sportsmanship. <laughs> it's just further proof that these people only care about violence and... I, I'm boycotting the UFC. It, it, mm -hmm. it could have been a million-dollar baby type sitch um, with his neck. I, I looked at it, and I was like, yep. well, It was a uh, $600,000 sit situation for Max because he got uh, the fight of the night bonus, and then he also got a performance bonus. Yep, so. 600K, and then Dana afterwards, I don't know if you saw the presser, said um, that was the greatest knockout in UFC history. Do you agree with that? Being a prisoner of the moment, yeah. Same. Um, Same. There's plenty of you know, equally probably big knockouts, but I just can't. Off the top of my head, I just want to be a prisoner in the moment. There was one second left on the clock. Yep. And, I mean, the whole thing was fucking perfect um, from start to finish. Even when they cut to Izzy and he was just like, oh, bro. I mean, Taporia, who Max is going to fight next, was like, he like shit his pants. <laughs> yeah. Like watching it. I he know. was just like. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I had to fight. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> like, because Max was never really known for his power until, like, the last fucking three fights. Like, he destroyed, he just, you know, starched Green Zombie on his retirement fight, does that to fucking Justin Gaethje, and it's like, wow, all right, Max might be a different fighter now. He's only 32. He's got a lot of fucking miles on him because he's been fighting forever, but he's only 32, mm -hmm. and uh, he can, you know, beat Taporia. He could. He fucking fight Islam if he really wants to. He's got a lot of options. He can fight Connor. He can fight. He can. He he has a lot of things that he could do and make his own call. So we'll uh, speaking of Connor, they did announce at the presser afterwards. Uh, Dana said that it would be uh, UFC 302. This is still not official. He just um, said today it's not official yet. Oh, he said it's not official. Yeah. He announced it, and it was June 29th, I believe. So what are no. they waiting on? Connor to sign. Oh, still to sign. Yeah, Connor. Okay. Connor does whatever he wants. He, I don't think Connor's ever going to fight again. I do. What's weird to me, and I'll, I'll tell you why I think he is, is uh, looking at his social media uh, that I follow, he looks noticeably smaller, like he's off the fucking gas for right now. Um, I don't know what their testing is. I know USADA's out of there, but he, he definitely is smaller, and he doesn't look like he's on so many steroids. So maybe he's trying to fight. Um, I'm maybe. not really sure. And then um, my favorite moment of the fucking entire card, though, Yuri Perhoshka just being like, I don't care that you are more technical and that you are hitting me. I do not accept the pain. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he had his hands down. He's like, you can hit me in the face all you want. You can kick the fuck out of my leg all you want. I will simply will myself to knock you out. And he did because he's a fucking, he, he's this crazy Czech Republican self-proclaimed samurai. And, uh, you know, Rakic 
questioned whether or not like a, like a logical person, right? He's like, you're, you're just yeah. a guy from the Czech Republic. He's he read a book and he thinks he's a samurai. He's a little bit nuts. And uh, Yuri Prohoshka did not take kindly to that. And he's like, I I will end you. <laughs> yeah. And that is the best thing. If in this sport we need more Yuri Prohoshkas, we need more people that are like, all right, fuck it. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna ball out. We're just gonna fucking. I'm gonna be a crazy person. I'm gonna be a lunatic, and you you will simply not hurt me. Now it was fun. Uh, the other girl uh, who came back to life was also fun because she was dead. I was convinced she was dead, and then they somehow brought her back to life um, right before the round ended, and were able to to get her upright. Oh, and the uh, <laughs> yeah, the co man. Holy yeah. shit, dude! Because she was choked out. Yeah. Um, didn't have any oxygen, nothing, and then her people lifted her up, mm -hmm. got some ice on her face and shit like that, and was able to fight again. Even landed a couple decent shots before yeah. eventually losing. But I thought that girl was dead. It was a good fight too. But uh, the it air, the, the air was sucked out of the fucking entire venue just from the Max and Justin fight. Because how do you follow up that I, moment? How do you do it? And then Alex Pereira gets the dub, gets the knockout, first round knockout. Could yeah. honestly, even with a broken toe, could headline next month at. In Brazil, at 301, it doesn't matter who he fights because, like, he is Brazilian. He's got he's a champion, two-time, you know, two-title champion. Uh, he was a champion at middleweight. Now he's a champion at light heavyweight. He can do whatever he wants too. He can he can have line 301. He's he's good to go. He didn't barely broke a sweat against fucking Jamal Hill, and it was great because uh, he got kicked in the nuts. And Herb Dean comes in to be like to, to stop the fight to be like, hey, you you can get your five minutes to like, you know, get. You know, re catch your breath, catch yep. your breath, and maybe and prayer called him off. He's like, no, and within ten seconds, then knocked out Jamal Hill. Yeah, he's just like, no, I got this. Yep, I don't care that he kicked me in the dick, and then just fucking rocked him. Uh, but what a what a blast that whole goddamn card was, dude. Uh, great weekend of sports all the way around, uh, and then you got the WNBA draft tonight. Right. So can't forget that. And as always, we're brought to you by mybookie.com. Promo code Drinking Bros doubles that first deposit all the way up to a thousand dollars. If you are betting on Caitlin Clark tonight, I think the odds are minus like ten thousand. Yeah, to go one overall, <laughs> you do not get odds for that. There's no way they even have it on they my bookie. It. They got it. There's odds for everything, dude. They got it over there. Uh, tons of stuff to bet on here, uh, which we'll get to after the uh, the sponsors. Uh, NFL draft. So those odds are out, and I know everybody's amped for their favorite football team and, uh, and who you're going to get. We're doing a massive live show here for my bookie from the studio uh, with Derek Wolf. Derek Wolf uh, is our new co-host on the NFL show for this fall. He will be in studio that night uh, making picks with us, having some fun, having some laughs. He was with uh, Travis Kelsey over the weekend, boozing. Uh, University of Cincinnati oh, yeah, on really stage, Cincy, yeah. and uh, they're homies and best friends, so we'll get the real story there, because um, I know people on the internet were kind of pissed at what Travis did, drinking a beer on stage yeah. after getting his degree. Fuck off. He was also at Coachella this week. Of course. Why not? With Taylor. With Taylor, with Taylor yeah. yeah. What uh, a dream Giorgio life. got within 50 feet of them. Really? What did he say? He just said they're beautiful. They're beautiful people. Yeah, yeah. they are. They are. Yep. Wish Holloway was here for that, you know, just to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Just to hear it. But a ton of stuff to bet on at MyBookie.com. So that night, dude, you guys remember last year or years past, uh, one episode was so violent it was deleted. Uh, <sighs> Falcons, man. Fucking Falcons, bro. Uh, and I'm, I'll get your takes here in a second because the new mock draft just dropped. Really fucking funny. So you can start betting on this shit and win a ton of money. Last year, I won a shit ton of money picking B. John Robinson to the Falcons. Um, and uh, that came home for me. It was great. Uh, and then, shit, who do we got in golf this weekend? Where are we at? Harbor Town. Harbor it's Town. actually, I believe, an elevated event. So um, all oh, the big great. names are playing against. Great. Okay, yeah, awesome. Back to back weeks. Tons, man. Tons to bet on. Delco, I gave you uh, Scotty, and I said you could take that victory. I'm letting you have it. I'm not taking it. Y you should take I'm it. I'm going to do an honorable thing. I still only have one win this year. No, don't do it. Take it. I, here's my honest opinion on Scotty Scheffler with that bullshit. You still have to go out and perform. And I felt the same way about Barry Bonds. Yeah, he was on fucking steroids and everything. But you know how hard it is to hit a fucking home run every goddamn at bat? <laughs> like, yes, we thought Scotty was going to win, but he's, you still got to show up and do it. And nobody else could fucking I'm do it. I'm not taking credit for that. I would. Scotty, right. congrats, but that's not a win for know me. Know that I left it out there. But uh, bet with us or against us on mybookie.com. Promo code Drinking Bros. Doubles that first deposit up to $1,000. Get off the couch. 
Get into the action today and turn your love of sports into your new side hustle at mybookie.com. Next up, we got firstform.com slash drinking bros. I just took the micro factors. So uh, in the last show, if you were watching fake news, boom, here they are. They come in this beautiful little box there, little tramp door, and uh, it just spits you out the essentials. Already divvied up for you in a nice little plastic pouch. Got to take your vitamins every day. Let's face it. We all don't eat the way we want to, work out the way we want to every single day. However, it is important to get the essential vitamins in it. This takes the guesswork out of it for you, and they just they just do it for you here. Uh, well, it's in it. We got the antioxidants, the CoQ10s, the multivitamins, fruits and veggies, EFAs, and the probiotics. Check out their new liver detox after a weekend like this. Daddy needed to pop uh, pop some of those down to get back on track. All their supplements are excellent across the board over there. Best energy drinks in the biz as well. And when you when you go over there and uh, and you buy some stuff at firstform.com forward slash drinking bros, you're gonna get free shipping on orders over $75. Over there, and it's a big boy savings, dude. You start getting energy drinks in there. Uh, next up, we got Drinking Bros Tickets.com. We got tickets for everything. That's where we got our master's tickets. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, to our partner in that company, Benny. Uh, easy experience, even for the masters. So, yes, all of these big events, bucket list items that you want to go to every single year, we have them on there, and you can just buy them. Um, now, look, it is an aftermarket, so the prices will be up and down. However, let's say the, the Masters was your bucket list on Thursday. The weather, it didn't wasn't a full rain out. People got to play at 11, and they played up until 8.30. Tickets were $500 that day, that morning, because they thought it was going to be rained out. So That's a fucking deal. Oh, my God, dude. There were so many people. My, one of my best friends from college was like, bro, I went to the Masters all day. It ended up being a beautiful day yeah. after 11 a.m., but... We got rained out in the morning, so we got everything. You want Taylor Swift tickets? Those are on sale. Very, very fucking pricey. She's coming to New Orleans in uh, September. Taylor? So Yeah. Oh, oh boy. I know. Wait, You're taking a uh, wait, company wait, trip? When? 6K for lowers. What right day? Now. 6K for lowers. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it Labor it's Day weekend? It's a weekend, weekend yeah. Uh, I don't know. I have to look it up. Labor Day weekend is gay Mardi Gras. Is it really? So, so Taylor perfect. descending on New Orleans the same uh, weekend as Decadence. So it's called Southern Decadence. I know where Rob's going for Memorial Day. Where at? Labor Day. Labor Day. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's taking see. his wife. Yeah. Are you? Um, let's see where these fucking it's been tickets saving are up for her. I, I'm just at. A, now I'm curious now. I, I I'm just saying that's answer. gonna be that is that's that goes from like gay Mardi Gras to gay Nirvana if Taylor Swift is in. Is she town. a big symbol for the gays? She's I mean, not like Lady Gaga. Gay dudes love yeah, Taylor Swift, love especially basic so. white gay dudes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They love her. They absolutely love her. You always here. forget about the basic whites. Yeah. yeah they don't get represented do. like they used the to. The basic white no. gays. Yeah. So, yeah, so right now she's overseas through, oh, Bob. Bob. When's the when's the, uh, the Wimbledon? Uh, June. June. Right? June to July. Late mid June to mid July. She's playing Wembley Stadium. Get your passports. We're going to in, Wembley in London, June twenty second. So you That'll could be you could see Wimbledon and Taylor oh, Swift all day at Wimbledon. Then Taylor at Wemby. We, oh my god! We need to make a company trip solely to have Holloway at Wembley. <laughs> he would never do that. He would never do it. I sent uh, somebody to a buddy of mine to uh, shit. He got Wimbledon tickets last year off yeah. of Drinking Bros tickets. Like, huh? He had a fucking. He goes, bro. It's the best. You can what just, heard. yeah. He it's said it's heard. incredible. He said there's private restaurants inside there. Yeah, it's a whole like crazy, steakhouses whole crazy and thing. all kinds of shit. I mean, the all all England club is. I mean, probably not quite uh, as crazy exclusive as Augusta, but it's its own you know high end situation as well. Whereas like the U.S. Open is a, just a fucking party. Like it's you know in Queens right next to the fucking Met Stadium and yeah, Australian Open's kind of the same way. It's like a part. It's more like down to earth party. Uh, but yeah, Wimbledon is you know definitely the upper crust crowd all right so if you're out there and want taylor swift tickets she's going to hard rock stadium in miami not a great stadium in my opinion uh new orleans is october 25th ah, ah. 26th 27th so you could stay for for halloween after take my i could take my wife for our anniversary yeah and then oh gosh to close it out in November, she's going to Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Ugh. Been to that stadium a million times. Not worth it. 
Nothing in Indy is worth it for that. Head on down to New Orleans if you can. But you can buy everything, anything your heart desires on uh, Drink It Bros. Tickets.com is about $10 cheaper than StubHub. Last but not least, HeartAFSeltzer.com. Big thank you to Ryan Mills here. Just added another Kroger down in Houston. Uh, 1035 North Shepherd, Houston, Texas. Uh, also ever uh, added the uh, Proletariat. Uh, 2221 Market Street, Galveston, Texas. Brand new HEB in Alliance, Fort Worth, Texas on 3451 Heritage Trace Parkway. Uh, also a new HEB in Rockport, Texas near Corpus Christi out there. So uh, shout out there. We're in 75 HEBs now in the state of Texas for Hard AF Seltzer. A couple Kroger's down there in Houston. All the Piggly Wigglies in Alabama. And uh, yes, we are live in uh, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, North Carolina, uh, Alabama, Texas, and Ohio. Uh, go to the store locator on hardafseltzer.com. Type in your city or zip code. It'll take you to the closest location nearest you. We just used it when we were in Georgia last week. Grab a 12-pack of Hard AF Seltzer. If you're not in one of those states or one of the surrounding states, we still ship right to your house at hardafseltzer.com. There's uh, some special edition cans that are going out this fall, which we'll be able to talk about here at the end of the month. And uh, those you're going to want to order right to your house. I can promise you that. We're going to be able to do it over there. Uh, We're also in every single Total Wines, by the way. Just keep it easy. Uh, All throughout the Southeast. Uh, We're going to switch on over to uh, this new mock draft here. I mean, uh, am I fucking crazy here? Uh, So I'm looking at this. This just came out about an hour ago. Caleb Williams at one. I think we're all fine with that. Yeah, whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody here really thinks Caleb Caleb's going to be a total bust. I don't, except yeah, for he, Dan Holloway. He might not be, you know, amazing. Like who knows? Because it's always a little bit of a situ, like a little bit of mystery. But yeah, he's it's a fine first. He'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Here's but he, sh- if he's a bear, you can't really be that good. No, no, you can't. Uh, here's the shocker for me. Mm-hmm. I know what you're going to say. Well, J- I know who you're going to talk about. JJ McCarthy at two. At two. Two. Who, who's two again? The Commanders? Yeah. Really? Guy's a winner. God damn it. Guy's a I winner. I wouldn't nuts. expect JJ to nuts. be good under like Cliff's offense. I would I would imagine he would want somebody more. I guess I guess JJ's kind of dynamic, right, with his legs and everything. Yeah. So maybe. He can't throw. Guy's a winner. All he does is win. Oh, God. I mean, it's. He's going to be a better pro than he man. was a college player. Uh, but I don't got- know. I was so wrong on Michigan that I, I, I have no. I have no idea what he's going to be. I was right on Michigan, so it was about me and you picked that mm-hmm. on the prediction show this I, year. I thought they, they should have won it all the year before. <laughs> like, they, I thought they shit the absolute bed the year before with yeah. losing to TCU. But yeah, I thought felt right. Yeah. Dude, JJ's, I think JJ's going to be good. I really do. Look, he wins, but it wasn't due to the quarter. I mean, it was just soft serve kind of quarterback. He didn't throw shit. against Penn State in the second half. No, he didn't throw against Ohio State. So, I mean, I think he had one pass in the second half against yeah. Ohio State. He could be better. I don't know. We'll see. I, at two, though, <laughs> you got new management at, at the commanders and all that other shit. Like, that's the guy you want to take? Maybe that's who they're falling in love with. I think a lot think of – he's better than Sam Howell? Man, I don't trust a North Carolina quarterback. I'm sorry. Interesting you say that. Drake May. Uh, not, not there at three. In this new mock draft, they got Jaden Daniels. Well. Going to the Broncos. They're I would rather the have the Broncos could trade up for three and have Jaden Daniels. I would rather have JJ than Daniels. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. That's gross. I think Jaden Daniels is going to suck. No, I know you do. You have said it a thousand times. Is it, but I me, think JJ McCarthy is going to suck. Let me just restate it's, that I think Jaden Daniels is going to suck. It's a little suspect. I mean, all these dudes who were playing on as close to easy mode as you could be on offense. You know what I mean? They're all a little suspect to me. Which is Jaden Daniels and Caleb Williams. To, and like a, a lot of those OU quarterbacks, like any Heisman winner almost really, right? Like a, a lot of dudes who were just thrown to five stars, dudes who were, who were faster than anyone in they're the They're not secondary. throwing in windows. They're throwing to wide open guys. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're expecting potentially the Broncos to pick up and they're saying Sean Payton really likes them. Well, uh, I mean, Sean Payton's there now, so maybe be better. But man, Elway has been ruining quarterbacks for a while. Long time. Yeah, yeah. I don't trust it. As long as the Broncos are run by John Elway, who I grew up idolizing and mm-hmm. loving, man, he can't run a team. Like, so I, that's Why it. Why do you like Elway? I, he was great. I don't know. He's cool. I didn't have an NFL team for yeah. a long time. He's yeah. a bit of a cocksucker, isn't he? 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah, in real life. In real life, I played. He's a giant well. dick. No, I've I had a buddy who played with his son. I've had a fraternity brother who played with his son in high school football, and he pulled all the kids aside. This is like in two thousand three, mm-hmm. so right after he retired, and he's he just goes like they they're all over his house, like freshmen and sophomores in high school, something like that. And he just pulls them all over, and he's like, "If you're here because of me, mm-hmm. you can get the fuck out." <laughs> Paraphrasing, I, uh, I forget. It was basically that was the sentiment. He was like, "You can just fucking leave." That's great. Yeah, dude. and they're like, "We're here for Jack, dude. Calm down." Yeah, it's just kid's name, but that's funny. Yeah, that's that seems uh, like Elway. I've heard some stories too from uh, I've I had somebody that were, used to work in the uh, Broncos organization. He was a cocksucker. Yeah, he sucked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've heard some of those stories as well. Not not a huge surprise. Uh, for Marvin Harrison Jr. to uh, the Cardinals, that makes sense to good. me. Good. Don't overthink it. No. Draft a Hall of Famer. No. I uh, mean, Neighbors is going to be good, too, but, I mean, Marvin's just – he's just guaranteed. Glad you said that. So, at five here, this is where it's it's interesting to me. So, this is the Chargers. Harbaugh's got a new uh-huh. team, all that other shit, and uh, he's picking Joe Alt. Taking a lineman? Offensive tackle. That makes sense for Harbaugh. But – Malik Neighbors is on the board there. How do you not give Herbert Malik Neighbors? Uh, you get him protection, right? You yeah. get him a fucking cornerstone of your offense for the next decade. I mean, does yeah? I mean, does having weapons without a line really work? I know Burrow kind of made that miracle run to the Super Bowl one year, but what's the rest of his career been? It's been it's a been fucking hurt. nightmare. Yeah, I, I just think it's man, it puts you to sleep for sure because football is not like any other sport where there's some excitement to every position, right? There's a lot of boring, even picking like a, a fucking, like even picking Ed Reed in the draft Mm -hmm. is boring. And Ed Reed's fucking sweet. You know what I mean? When Harbaugh has a guy that is dynamic, he usually tries to play them both ways. It's like you're playing offense and defense. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Just let, you know, if the, if the boring pick is the right pick, make the right pick, make the right pick. If Malik neighbors is there at five, I take Malik neighbors all fucking day long. That's nuts to me. Because they lost, uh, due to the cap, they lost all the receivers. Yeah, they lost weapons for sure. Keenan Allen's gone. Mike Williams is gone. Who the fuck is he going to throw to? Then? Who cares, man? If you're a real quarterback, you don't need weapons. That's, That's kind of true. true. Like, really. I, like they, they, Somebody brought that up over the weekend regarding Mahomes, and they go, look, man, he did it without weapons, so fuck you. Yeah. You do it without weapons because Josh Allen has now lost his entire team. Uh, Herbert has lost his entire team because of cap issues. So. Yeah. Yeah, but if you got that guy there... Come on, man. That's crazy to me. Uh, down there at seven, offensive tackle for Tennessee Titans, Talese. I don't Fuaga. C- couldn't possibly care. Tennessee Titans are the offensive the Titans, tackles of a of organization. Yeah, they might be the most irrelevant franchise uh, in football right now. I think. Yes. Now that yeah. Rabel's gone, I, I couldn't There's tell nothing you one there. thing Maybe about that organization. Uh, it's, I, I, I love Derrick Henry, and he's gone too. Yeah. So like, sweet man, they just put me to sleep, dude. I don't give a fuck. Maybe about Levis them. will be good. I don't know. Yeah, don't I don't care. Know. Don't care. Probably not. Um, yeah, this Fu- Fuaga guy. I don't give a Fuago about him. Uh, Falcons at eight here. They've got Jared Verse. I can tell you I'm, I'm already pre-betting on Dallas Turner in that slot. And I'm betting heavily. Don't ask why. I mean, if Malik's there. Don't ask why. Well, there's no way he'd be there. But if he is. He is, yes. just read it, yes. right? Uh, no, he wouldn't be. He's, he's drafted uh, at this point. Going to New- oh, okay. uh, the New York Giants. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Malik neighbors fair. to the New York Giants up there. Wouldn't like that. <laughs> I wouldn't no like it for shit. Malik. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, that'd be awful. Uh, and then here's the crazy part. Drake May still on the board at nine, and they've got him going to the Vikings there. Now, I understand mm-hmm. it. If you're the Vikings. They need a quarterback. They need a quarterback. You take him. If he's there at nine, that makes all the sense I'll in the like world Drake to May. me. I think Drake May is going to be solid. It could be all right. That's a better situation to go into than most of what's it's better than Sam Howell. ahead, yeah. So this this has them trading up to do it and then uh, rounding it out. God damn, Brock Bowers at 10 to the Jets. That'd be great if he was there for Jets fans. Holy shit. Brock Bowers if, is a fucking animal. I mean, if Bowers is there with the, all the weapons they still have, plus maybe Aaron Rodgers. Nope. No? You're not playing? He'll tear his uh, Achilles again. Yeah, probably. Something's going to f- – something's – Bad's gonna happen. He'll get hurt. Yeah. Whatever the universe decides mm-hmm. is what will happen. And then they're predicting the, the Bears to trade uh, up here to grab a uh, Odunze. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. But uh, either way, it's gonna be a fun ass fucking draft. That Do night. they have a line yet? 
Not to my knowledge. Well, I don't really have weapons either. But like they don't really again, no, That's they got uh, uh, Keenan Allen, so they traded for Keenan Allen. Is Keenan Allen a weapon at this point? He's fucking old. Uh, he is really fucking good. I don't, I can't remember him not having a thousand yard season, but he also had a great quarterbacks for yeah ever. So I don't know. How old but is, it, I mean, I don't, I'm sure he's much younger than I think right now, but I probably think he has thirty one or thirty two. He has a lot of mileage. Sure, sure does. Yeah. 31 or 32, doesn't really get hurt, so he's played a lot of fucking uh, years over there. Uh, we'll switch on over to basketball. Speaking of not getting hurt, your boy Chet, dude. Mr. 82. Yeah, I'll give uh, it Number to one you. seed. I'll give it to you. Number one seed, 82 played games. Played all 82 games. Number Chet one seed in the Holmgren. West and still 16 to 1, I think. Now, the title. Joel, <laughs> yeah. I know you don't know the board that well over there. Press one of the sound buttons and let's just see what <laughs> Yellow. it is. It might be. Yellow. It might be. <laughs> Crime Corner. Yeah, dude. Oh, no, that was Nature Nook. That was Nature Nook. Good. Even better. Yeah, so Even. Chet's in it. They're a one seed. Um, are you guys. Betting on uh, the NBA playoffs here. I'll and bet. Uh, got? I kind of like the series to. I, I like to bet on game ones, and then I like to kind of maybe see how the series shakes out a little bit. Uh, but I, I, I won't bet on the playing games. That's a fucking crap no, shoot. I, I have, don't know though. I have the Lakers to win the West. So he, okay, so here's well, what, you, yeah, you the a long a, held future ticket, right? Future ticket on them at like twenty to one to win the West. Here's where this gets interesting. Okay, so tomorrow night the playing games start. You can bet on all these at mybookie.com. Lakers are first up. They're at the Pelicans. They're favored by a point and a half here. Mm -hmm. um, but if they lose this, they could potentially avoid the Denver Nuggets. Do you throw this game and then try to get no. into the other one? You win the game. I think you got to win the game. You got to play the Nuggets regardless. Yeah, if you want to yeah. win the championship, you go, you do have to play the Nuggets regardless. And he, when would you rather play them? When your legs are freshest? Go to Denver when your legs are are fresher uh -huh. and your lungs are fresher and you're less tired from a long season? Or do you want to go to Denver in the fucking Western, Western Conference Finals when you're at the end of the rope? Like, you're at the end of the line. Like, I, I mean, they had no shot against Denver last year, especially in those games in Denver because... It's a, they're an old team. It's fucking hard to go up there. I remember the dudes on inside the NBA were like, I know we're talking about the elevation, and people are kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's a, it's fucking real. Like it's not a joke. It is real, um, and it's fucking crazy up there uh, for these guys. Whew. Yeah, I would I would much rather if you if you know you have to catch Denver, yep. take them first. Yeah, just knock them out. Yeah, I, I, I think I agree, um, but a lot of people were saying, nah, skip Denver and then hope they lose to somebody else. I don't even, I don't even know if Denver is going to lose at all, though. It's a good, it's a good conference, but I think they're the, they're they're everyone's back. They're probably better than last year in a lot of ways. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I love the Lakers winning by more than one point against the Pelicans. Pelicans have been on a little bit of a slide. I don't trust them. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. Um, Lakers. Uh, we'll see if AD. AD had an injury over the weekend. Yeah, I don't know if if he was fine or whatever the fuck happened. He there, also played his most games of a single season in he a career. Sure did seventy six. Yeah, never played more than that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, man. With uh, with this fucking NBA playoffs shit, this is when I start to get into it. Me personally, the NBA playoffs. Look, the NBA regular season is ass, but ass. the NBA playoffs are actually a blast, especially this awesome. year when. It's been wide open the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 you know, Denver's the favorite, I assume. Maybe Boston, I guess. But Boston's easily the favorite. Oh, yeah, because they have like, an easier path. They're like even odds win the NBA yeah. finals. Uh, but they're not going to win. I don't think they're going to win either. I don't think they will because uh, I don't think that Tatum and fucking Jalen Brown have it in them. No. Porzingis is good, whatever. But yeah. They, they, don't, they don't got it. They but don't I think, got it. I think they probably do win the Eastern Conference. Yeah, probably. Warriors Kings is after that uh, Lakers game on Tuesday night. This is uh, Warriors minus two and a half at the Kings. Kings played great last year in the playoffs. They're not good. They're they're fraudulent this year. Okay, the Kings are. Yeah, I think the Warriors probably win that. And the then... Warriors did beat them last year in the playoffs. They did. Warriors uh, probably. Warriors Lakers are probably going to take those seeds, right? Seven eight. Uh, I think so. Um, look, it's, hard, like it's a... hard to get a bet against Steph Curry. Yeah. Hard to bet against LeBron. I don't know what, what version of Zion's going to show up for any of this shit. Adam so. Silver's going to make the call. Has to. Yeah. You need LeBron. To. I mean, that play, it was need Steph. nice for them to get a playoff run out of LeBron last year. So Lakers will win the first game. Warriors win their game. And then Warriors play the Pelicans, right? 
Yep. And then Warriors win that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think, too. Uh, Wednesday night's game, Heat at your beloved 76ers. Mm -hmm. uh, that spread is Philly, minus four and a half. Is Embiid fully healthy? Is he ever fully healthy? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. Uh, I don't – not super pumped about that first-round matchup if we do win with the Knicks because the Knicks kind of have our number this year. How does uh, – Jimmy Butler, though, against 76ers, this is a really fucking fun game, man. I don't know what to expect out of the Heat. The Heat always turn it up in the playoffs. I know. Yeah. I know. It's a, it's a, that's a very, very tough uh, match here right out of the gate. And then right after that, you got Hawks at the Bulls. Uh, yeah, if we lose, I Hawks. mean, if we lose to the fucking Heat, I think we'll take care of business. Aren't the, the Hawks and Bulls both under 500, right? Um, yeah, barely. <laughs> 36 and 46 for the Hawks. That's it's how awful smidge. the East is, oh, the by East the way. Oh, the East is so fucking bad. That mm. The Hawks are in the playoffs at 36 and 46. It's, the East isn't as bad as we like to talk, like we used to think. It's, it's the top. It's pretty top heavy. It's, it's not great. I mean, it's the the Bucks and the Celtics, and I mean the Knicks have some juice uh, for sure, but Cavs. And then the uh, I don't. You think can you got to buy the Cavs. I don't, I don't, I don't know if Cavs. I can buy the Cavs. I, don't believe the Cavs. I love Donovan Mitchell. I loved watching. Like I watch more Western Conference playoff games than Eastern Conference playoff games, especially because those are on after the Braves are finished playing. And so I used to love watching the Jazz and Donovan Mitchell and all that shit. Rudy Gobert. I, I love him. I hope yeah. he makes a little run, but I don't. I don't know about it. I don't either. Uh, top seeds here, as far as one through six out of the East, Boston's in at one, New York Knicks at two, Milwaukee Bucks at three, Cleveland Cavaliers at four, uh, Orlando Magic, Paolo at five, yeah, dude, Paolo, and uh, Franz, pa yeah, yep. Wagner, Wagner, uh, out of Michigan, and then uh, Indiana Pacers there at six. And then you got Philly, Miami, Chicago, Atlanta. So we get a uh, Bucks Indiana series. You might. They have beef. No, no, three six. Uh, yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. You're right. They um, do have beef. That'll be fun. Uh, and then Western Conference here, Oklahoma City mm -hmm. did secure the one seat. Crazy. Denver Nuggets are the two seat. Um, same record. What happened there? Was there a head to head? Yeah, it'd be tiebreaker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota uh, ended up finishing at third. They, they were in it one pretty much the entire year. They and were then they th fell apart. Last there was week. a three way tie for first this, the, on the last day of the season. Mm. So it was all like tiebreakers, kind of that. Uh, I forget how it shook out, but going into the last game, all three of those teams were tied for the one seed. Okay, they had, or they had they were all tied for the best record. Gotcha. Uh, Clippers at four. Clippers are an interesting team here at four. They, if they stay healthy. Star power for sure, I guess. I mean, Kawhi is still. Does Kawhi, Kawhi. want to play? Yeah. Like, does, does Kawhi yeah. care where he is? No. And that's kind of how I feel about the fifth seed here, which is Dallas. Dallas looked really fucking good. Kyrie Irving has looked great. Dallas is feisty. Weeks. Yeah. And Dallas is an interesting fucking team. So mm. they're going to be really fucking fun to they watch. They don't really play defense, so that's going to probably hurt them in the playoffs, I'd imagine. But him One and Luca think. will score 80, sure. and that'll be. That'll be tough. Uh, Phoenix is at six, and Ooh. then the, the play-ins are uh, Pelicans at seven, Lakers at eight, Kings at nine, Golden State uh, down there at ten. Uh, but, yeah, way too early prediction here. Who you guys got winning it all? I mean, I just kind of like the Nugs again, to be honest. Same. It's the same fucking team. Jokic is the best player on earth. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you I don't know how you beat them. Yeah, I'm going with Denver to win it all. Who and, you got? Delta? And here's the thing, too. The – Number one seed in the West is I, I don't think that I don't think the Oklahoma City Thunder are gonna make it to the Western Conference Finals, which means Denver probably has uh home court advantage, which is huge for them. Yeah, I'm I mean, gonna go with one last run from the King. For, uh, LeBron James? I'm going Los Angeles Lakers are your NBA final champion. Boy, I think you did that last year too. No, I hate LeBron, but he's gonna do it. <laughs> He's, no. I mean, he's still so good. That'd be sick. I, I do. I am gonna make a point to watch as many Lakers games as I can in this playoffs because he's just he had he just had his what twenty fifth straight year of twenty five points or more or something like no that. No one's ever done more than ten seasons, and he's double that. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking insane. He averaged uh, twenty five point seven points a game, eight point three assists a game, and seven boards. <sighs> fucking a dude at thirty nine. Yeah. God damn, man. I don't. At some point, I know Jordan has six championships or whatever, but like, at some fucking point, he's better. He's like, you've no, got to is. acknowledge he just, that he he's playing is. longer, but on both ends of his career, by he's the way, he's been to more finals. 
Have you? Can you really say that Michael Jordan was ready for the NBA at 18? No. Because no. LeBron was. No, it's, uh, it's interesting. He had to build his body, Jordan did, to, to even last as long as he did. Yeah, and look, he, was a gr- he had some glorious college moments, game-winning, championship-winning shot and all that. But mm-hmm. like, And especially if LeBron wins with this team. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it would be a big one if he Your did. Your three is sure. Austin Reeves? <laughs> for sure. It would be a big one. It would be a big deal if he did. I'm kind of rooting for him. I'll root for the I'll root for the Lakers. Yeah. I'll root for the I'm, Lakers. I'm turning on it. Like I, I know he clowned me and everything, but gotta cheer for greatness. Gotta yeah. cheer for it. Yeah, same. Um the weird thing too is like you take a guy like uh, Zion Williamson, if he just worked out, he's a fucking he would be a specimen that would be unstoppable. Oh, he already is a specimen. He's his PER is I think one of the best ever. But if he yeah, actually uh, like cared, had a healthy diet and everything right. else, like God, he could dominate everybody, so dude. Too busy impregnating porn stars and eating like uh, gumbo. And yeah. that's the difference between a guy like LeBron and him where you look at him and you're like, "Hey bro, you were born with just as equally a great body and you chose to fuck off with it. Right. Didn't do anything. Chose candy. He's so fat his fucking shoe exploded. Yeah, dude. That was, yeah. That was one of the greatest, uh, oh, yeah. well, 10 seconds of my life because I, I bet the other team that night heavily. <laughs> and to watch that happen, all those celebrities flew in, all those private jets flew in to see him, and then yeah. 10 seconds, he's out of the game and, so and fucking just funny. deflated in there. Uh, but yeah, uh, looking forward to it. That, that'll all start Tuesday night. Betting on all of it. Um, yeah, I'll, I, I got the Lakers in that first round there. He if they the... come up against uh, your boys, though, if they come up against Chet, I think the Lakers beat Oklahoma City. Yeah, I yeah. don't buy Oklahoma. They're still young, right? Like, we love them. We love Chet, but yeah. They're not ready. Yeah. They're not ready. And, and honestly, if, if again, I love Chet, but against a healthy Anthony Davis. For some reason, the playoffs always turn into an old man's game. So I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to ride with the oldest man there is. Yeah. Okay. Ever still, in the history still of, has of, it. of, of, uh, that, of the that NBA. Still fucking does. I, it. Mean, I know. He's gonna be. And by the way, like we're talking about, we talk about like Tom Brady playing until forty five or whatever. Playing until forty one or forty two in the NBA is way more impressive. LeBron's than also playing quarterback. Uh, played God, an entire tough. season yep. in the playoffs. Yeah. Just uh, just going up and down a hard court every night brutal. on your knees and everything. No, it's brutal, dude. It's absolutely fucking brutal. Uh, it's it's amazing to see what he's done, and uh, I. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I don't give a shit about the NBA regular season at all. No one does. They've I mean, completely don't. NBA it. fans don't. No, you know, they it's don't. Weird though, right? I tune in to what I t- I basically only watch games on TNT, and I tune in for the halftime shows. The yes. only person that watches regular season way. NBA is fucking Ryan Rosillo, who turned off Caitlin Clark to watch like Kings uh, Spurs or something. Yeah, it's just yeah, no need. She'll be uh, she'll be top pick in the WNBA draft coming up here. Did I mention that? You could bet on it. Any minute now, actually. It's <laughs> starting soon. Yeah, it's, uh, I watched her on SNL. She was very good, by the way. Um, yeah, she, I she had a that. fun segment over the weekend. And Signed an apron for Michael Che, I yeah. believe, which is a solid. It's it good. was. Yeah. The show is, has not been great in years, but that little segment was very good. Um, good for She looked good on camera, too. That was the first time I saw her with makeup on, like done up. And I, I think was she's like, cute. Holy shit. I think she's right. cute. Yeah. I, like, I, I, yeah. Same. Um, a lot of people are saying reality's coming for. I no, it's not. In dude. what way? I know. I know. What the WNBA is in this hard ass league? Like no. also like other people from who were huge stars in college, like Diana Shirazi, I'm pretty sure like immediately came into the WNBA and dominated. Yeah. Yeah. So should be. She's fun. a lot of. Talk. Yeah. I mean, D- Diana Taurasi is a lot of talker shit. She is. She's one <laughs> like, of the best women's basketball players yeah. ever. I'm just saying, like... When people are like, who is this whore <laughs> talking shit about Caitlin Clark? It's like, I don't know, one of the best WNBA players ever. Whore. One of the best female whore. players of all time. Whore. <laughs> shame. 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 Um, it was uh, Greeny, by the way, who said that the Lakers should lose this morning to uh, oh, Pelicans uh, to avoid the... Gotta have your take, I guess. Yeah, it, it's just nuggets. a hot take. Just yeah. fire from the hip, baby. <laughs> why do show prep just come in and say what, come you know, in and say yeah. just wild shit why not why not that's uh because then you could lose the second game and then you're out of the fucking playoffs yeah. right yeah yeah let's leave it all up to that 
A uh, special shout out to in the NBA to my boy Grayson Allen. He's just signed a massive deal. Uh, there. I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy. Four for Four years, seventy million dollar extension with the Phoenix Suns. It's so funny. It's so fucking funny. God damn it, dude. He's gonna make a hundred million dollars in his career. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe more if he keeps playing yeah. past his four year contract. And the funniest part about that is that like. You heard Knox on JJ about like, oh, we'll never be shit in the NBA. And I don't know. Some people thought that and for sure, but he, he could always shoot or whatever. But you really heard that about Grayson Allen, about like you dollar store JJ Redick. You aren't, you for sure He's got are, hops aren't going to be shit in the NBA. Yeah. He has the greatest. It does matter. Grayson has one of the greatest high school like mixtapes ever. Yeah. And now he's just, he's a $100 million guy. He got the bag. Got Good the for bag, him. Dude. He does need to get some more edge, though. Like, he needs to get some tats. He needs to, like... No, it's funnier when he, when he punches guys in the wieners without any tats or anything. It, it is. It looks like Ted like Cruz. It. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's, he's the guy from One Tree Hill. He man. looks it's like he owns the team. from One Tree Hill. You know what I mean? Like, he looks like the son of the team's owner. Yeah. And then he goes on the court and fucking balls. Seventy million dollars they so just gave him right fun. before the playoffs it's, too. It's no earned reason. though. It's earned. He like, did. No, it's completely earned. I mean, Thir- fucking thirteen points a game. Duncan Robinson got paid like a hundred million dollars for his like little playoff run he had. Yeah, and he has not shown up since. Very true, very true. But uh, Grayson shows up night in, night out, and just fucking dominates, man. He highest, does his jobs. He does the little things. He's the most high, reliable guy on the Suns. Highest uh, percentage three-point three, three shooter in the NBA. Pay that man. No, he did. Just he means did. he doesn't take enough yeah. shots. No, nah, sure doesn't. It means he's careful. I, I don't even know he's how he cautious. gets any if, No, if you shoot that high, that is selfish. Actually. How do you even? If I don't, you shoot over 40% from three, you're selfish because you're not shooting enough. Just no. keep throwing up shots. Yeah. He doesn't. He's got a team, guys. He's got Booker there. He's got Durant. A lot of mouths to feed. Beal too, right? Beal. I, I don't understand how he gets shots. Like Nuts, what? What shots it? are fucking left over for Grayson Allen? Only one ball. Yeah, and and Nurkic is on the team too. I know. Like goddamn. Like everyone's there. Thirteen and a half points. Three point one assists. Three point nine rebounds. And uh, <clears throat> thirty three minutes a game. Look at that. Tw- oh, 28. He's twenty eight years old. Fuck. He's been in the league a minute. God damn! He did not come out of Duke as a freshman. God damn! Mm, yeah, but he didn't stay all four years. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he did either. But wow, how many years made a hundred million dollars? Fucking a, dude. It's a good career. Great career. Duke's a great school. A lot of successful graduates. You good know? for you. Would you Grayson trade lives with Grayson Allen? Yeah, everybody would for hundred million well, for, dollars. Fuck yeah! But you got to look like Grayson Allen. I think he's a decent looking dude. Hundred million dollars gets you pussy that looks can't. Sure is. <laughs> Sure is, dude. Oh, yeah, fame, too, hundred. by the way. The fame and the hundred million. Yes. And youth. And, and youth. The, yeah, and I'm <laughs> shaving <laughs> 10 years off my life. Yeah. I'm taking it. I'm all in on Grayson Allen's life. Let's go. Grayson wakes up in my house one day and just starts kicking my kids in the dick. <laughs> yeah. Grayson's taking PJs to the Masters, dude. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He probably went for that Thursday. It's a nice airport. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Augusta. It's not bad. It's nice. The uh, That little breakfast Sammy I had with on sourdough was very good out of there. Shout out to the back nine. <laughs> what was the name of the place we ate at inside that airport? Uh, had to remember it, obviously, because it's it's golf related there. But uh, yeah, congratulations! NBA playoffs start tomorrow. NHL uh, playoffs soon. Cool. NHL playoffs are coming up here. We got tons of fun. I, I speaking go, about firing from the hip. Let's go. You want to hot and avalanche, NHL baby? Let's, you got avalanche? All right. I don't know if that's really going out on a limb. They they just won a Stanley Cup. Yeah. Probably hard to repeat. Uh, I mean, no, they didn't repeat. Uh, last year was the Golden Knights. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But two years ago, Avalanche. Actually, you know who I'll take because I think they are kind of lacking in a Stanley Cup recently. Maybe is uh, the Bruins keep kind of choking. Yep. Yeah, the, a lot of Boston teams are choking nowadays. Yeah. Although honestly, might be rooting for the Rangers. My boy Vladdy Tarasenko. I'm not rooting for anyone from the West. A lot of people are rooting for the Rangers. What uh, the fuck are you rooting for the Rangers for? Just why, as, why not? A, as a resurgence, New York, oh, New York needs a win. Gross. New York Fucking needs something gross. right now. They need something. I Although told they you do why, love though. the Knicks. I said Tarasenko's on the on the fucking. They do love the Knicks. Uh, no, I'm uh, taking Carolina this year. Carolina Hurricanes. All right. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. I love them. Uh, I love them. I enjoy uh, going to the games. I enjoy the arena. And uh, very, very fun team to watch in real life. So, yeah. I'm going with them. I picked the Golden Knights last year. I won. We all have. I love the Golden Knights. That's yeah. the best hockey experience you could have. That's for, what I heard. For real, dude. That's what I heard. Vegas is a good sports town. It's a great fucking arena. It's built like a 
gladiator stadium. So it doesn't even matter if you're in the fucking last row. You're just looking down on the players, and yeah. you feel like you're a part of the action. They mic up the entire rink, so you can hear every fucking shot. It's loud as fuck in there. There's a private club up there. There's a Dre's. I've never um, been. Yeah, there's a Dre's up there. I just know I miss going to professional sports it's games. It's fucking fun. Dude. It's not looking promising for my Flyers to make the playoffs. They got one game left, I think. Uh, I thought we, you guys were in. We're tied. Okay. Tied. We're tied with like four other teams for the last wild card spot. I'll ride with the Fly. Ride yeah, with the Flyers. We'll see. We'll see. We, we wish we wish you the best. They have two. I think a lot of teams have two games left. We have one, ah. so we need to better get those three. Get that three points. Or is it two points? Might be two points. I know. I the Sixers are going to be out in the first round. Bad year for Philadelphia. Uh, Philly's off to a horrible start up there. We're eight um, and eight. Yeah, it's, we're it's like terrible. a game back of the Braves. Barely five hundred up there. We keep Barely losing. Five hundred organizations. Pirates are good, I guess. Pirates are just on a little run. I mean, look, I'm they looking. They smashed at this. us. They fucking took, uh, they g- hit a grand slam off Wheeler yesterday. God, the Braves are nine and five. You guys are already just falling behind just all the way down the division. Negative now. run differential yeah. for the Phillies. Not, yeah. not yeah. what we want. I mean, we never really start out hot in April. Yeah. Terrible season for those guys. Uh, your second half team. Yeah. We are. Well, I mean, we'll just beat your ass in the fucking <laughs> wild card, but whatever. Or a divisional round. Yeah, Eagles not looking so great. It's a rough year for Philly sports, man. Rough year. Just re-signed Devonta Smith. He deserved it. Uh, great player. Uh, one of the best wide receivers I ever saw in college in real life. Mm-hmm. Holy mm-hmm. shit, that guy's good. Uh, he definitely deserved that money. Uh, thanks for tuning in, kids. Go to iTunes, rate the show a five-star, and leave a quick review. Also, head on over to Spotify. It's just a five-star, and you can walk away. Look, if you got money back from taxes today, because it's tax day, Sign up for mybookie.com. Make sure to use that promo code Drink It Bros to double that first deposits all the way up to a thousand dollars. For Hot Bob, Delco Dan, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Monday morning recap. Good morning, everyone.